Hello guys, this is HD Video Tuts here and hope it's recording. Yeah, it's recording. Okay, um a long time ago I announced I'll give it a, I'll be giving away minigun, free content, blah 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 blah, but I never could because my um computer crashed and I was never able to give this away and uh I lost this file and uh so um, as I was too lazy to remake it, but uh, I said, you know what? Let's uh, let's make a tutorial on it, and we'll remake this thing. <clears throat> so we'll be remaking it. So come in your Cinema 4D first. Save this thing. It's always a good idea to save it. Uh, let's name it Mini Gun. And uh, go to your right view, click on it, press shift, press V. This thing should pop up, and you gotta go and uh, click uh, the link in the description to get this picture, and boom. So we want this to be probably bigger. Let's. Why isn't this side working? Whatever, man. I'll just... Okay, sorry. And let's see how big that is. Um, that's actually a decent size, so... I'm not going to complain. Let's delete the cube. So this is the picture we'll be using uh, as a reference. This is not a picture, a picture I used as a reference for that one. But uh, though, uh, we're not going to actually make these things, I just want to know what goes where and what's the length of the things. That's the only reason I'm doing this. Um, now this seemed to be aligned up pretty nice. So <clears throat> let's make this first and then we'll just make the uh, barrels. Okay, so let's make a cylinder. Make it on X axis, actually on Z axis, sorry about that. You know what, it's not aligned correctly, I was wrong. Um, let's bring it right here, and we'll zoom in. And... Press uh, Shift V, and Y offset, we wanna pull it up a bit. And align it as correctly as possible to our cylinder which we know is in the middle and is aligned correctly okay good um what's with this side it's not working okay that's kind of annoying actually so it goes up to there there spikes <clears throat> okay so this is uh, looking good um, and we want to add the barrels and that will be easy now so we're just gonna go back in here and uh, boom we have our cylinder as a guide and yeah so let's go ahead and make this thing um, I'm gonna add another cylinder but actually you know what let's just duplicate the cylinder and uh, just bring it out a bit <clears throat> and uh, oops wrong view and all we have to do is uh, just copy the a little, little too bright that that background is not a very comfortable now is it Okay, 8 seems to be a good uh, radius, and 
we will position the object at zero and zero maybe not there but this is getting annoying You don't want to fill out the whole thing. Um, actually, yeah, it needs to be a little smaller. Just do like 380, and that's perfect for our barrels. Um, actually, it does a problem because barrels have holes in the middle don't they ah uh, so we're just gonna get we're just gonna hold down alt so like this hold on alt drag down and without letting go we're gonna get a tube so the reason we did that we're gonna drag the cylinder out the reason we did that it's at the same position all we have to do is just change uh, the values so we're gonna keep the outer radius same as the outer radius of this which is eight so we're gonna make it inner radius maybe six outer radius eight we have a two inch difference maybe okay. that seems to be looking like a good barrel and 380 height so three Eight zero. Boom. As you can see, it's not touching. It's not supposed to touch. So that looks that looks like a Gatlin gun. No, it doesn't. Um. So now what we're going to do is uh, actually I don't like the, just Control D and change this color to eighty percent gray. I like this color much better. Easier to work with. Um. Okay, so we have this, and uh, we're going to um, duplicate it around and make it into a circular shape. The way we're going to do that is just get a cloner. Let's name the two barrel. Let's get rid of this cylinder. We don't need this anymore. And this cylinder main body. Put the barrel inside the cloner. Name it barrel CL <clears throat> and uh, select radio. Now, what you also want to do, I guess, is uh, go to window, uh, command manager, somewhere under, look for reset PSR, reset PSR. All you want to do is just drag it and hold it down somewhere around here. I have it right there. And what we're going to do is uh, take the barrel CL, put it inside the main body, click reset PSR, and what's that going to do is align with uh, the body. Now, what you want to do is uh, go on here I really don't like the fact that this has a white background but we're gonna have to make do I think this one has a uh, six barrels so in here we're just gonna put in six and for radius we're just gonna turn it down until we have a perfect sitting radius and that is perfect boom now I know what you're saying that looks nothing like maybe it doesn't have six maybe it has five who knows 
Let's try five. Uh, let's go display direction lines. If we get five. That looks a bit better in my opinion, so we're just gonna stick with this one. Uh, it looks pretty good. There's also one in the middle, so we're gonna duplicate this barrel and pull it out and put it inside the main body. Actually, put it inside the cloner and reset PSR, take it out of the cloner, and it will be aligned and you want to hold them all select all of the barrels including the cloner press alt g and name it um all barrels or whatever and uh, that will be our barrels um now let's go ahead and make this thing which is actually not that hard. Um, <clears throat> so what you're going to do is just get a cylinder again. And this is R to Z. And bring it around here. Why isn't this working? That's really weird. Um, hold on a second. I'm gonna pause this and figure out the problem. I figured out why it wasn't working. I was on move to, and when you're on the selection, it works perfectly fine. But when you're on the move, it doesn't. But this one does. That's really weird. I just found that out today. Okay. Um, back to our new thing. Where's our little? You want to align it and um, this thickness is pretty good and uh, radius turn it down. And this seems like a good radius. And you're gonna pull it actually, let's just Let's just make it here. Um, I'm gonna, as you can see, the barrels need to show through, but they're not. We could pull it back, or we could just, in, you know what, we're just gonna pull it back instead of increasing the length of the barrels, which is going to be a little bit more complicated. So boom, we have that showing. And, uh, this looks like not a good size. It's just a bit bigger. And uh, that's that's looking good. Okay, we're gonna add some more segments to it, like maybe 45. And actually not that good. Okay, that's good. 50 should do. Let's just keep numbers um you know. Okay, uh, and uh, click that to make it editable, go into your poly selection mode. You want to go to function and click optimize. Right here. Um, again, do the window command manage, window layout command manager and search for optimize and put it just here. As you can see, I have a lot of things right here, so I just uh, keep things handy. And you, you want to click it, click OK, and um, Press U, press L, and click that. That's a loop selection tool. Now right click, click um, Extrude Inner. Uh, 
boom. Now you're gonna click UL again and select this loop. Right click, click extrude, and we're gonna go into this mode, and we're just gonna extrude up. Bop. That much. We don't have to be perfect with it, so we can just do like about this much. We can do whatever the hell we like, so you know. Okay, that's good. Now, just for a little finesse. I'm going to go into edge selection mode. Uh, actually, before I do that, go to UL and maybe size this thing up. Okay, now right click, extrude inner, and then just size this thing up. That adds. Actually, that makes it look ugly. So, cancel that plan and stick to the original UL and select everything select these edges and right click bevel and just do a slight bevel on it and um, let's do two subdivision actually let's just do one is enough for this. The reason we did bevel, it's gonna ha come in handy when we render. Um, once I'm gonna get press K for, and select loop selection and make a cut really close to the edges. And that's gonna keep the edges from bending because of font tag. See how things change a bit? Look. See the colors change? And, and put one right here. And everything's perfectly fine. We actually need to put one in between here. Actually, uh, press this UL. And do an extrude inner. It also does pretty much the same thing. Boom. So I've got that taken care of. Um, now let's go to our view. There's a thing in the middle here, we're just gonna add a cylinder and uh, You want to make it this about the same size as this thing right here. That seems right. And um, little caps, fillet. Turn down the radius to maybe like two. And you want to add some segments, I think. Now let's just make it editable. Go to poly, press uh, get function, optimize, anything again. Press UL, select this loop, this loop, and this loop. Right click, extrude inner. 
And the reason we do this extrude inners is basically to defeat Fong Tag. Fong Tag smoothens out the edges that we sometimes don't want it to smooth out. That's why we gotta add those extra cuts to make it look rough again. Okay, and we're back in. So now we're gonna work on the main body. Take the barrels out of it and uh, work on the main body. Um, oh shit, okay, uh, yeah. I was Googling that, how to fix the cylinders then, but never mind now, because I know how to fix it. Let's go to our main body, and let's turn it off and see what it looks like. As you can see, there's a cut here, and it goes all the way around. And there's a thing right there, which I'll also do. So let's look at it again. Okay, that looks to be about right. So we got the size right. <clears throat> Make it editable, go into your... Actually, before you make it editable, add some more caps, rotational segments because we're not gonna be, um, what do you call it, um, <laughs> hypernerving it. So, uh, get um, on your edge loop selection, whatever, and go, to, go on your edge mode and get the knife tool. Oh, we haven't. Make it edible, then go on your edge mode. Press K, and select loop. You want to make a cut right about here, and one right about here. Press UO. And as you can see, it's coming apart on this side. This side is not sticking. The way you solve the problem, Control Z, unselect everything, function optimize. That's why you optimize anyway, just so you guys know. Uh, wait, we're not making, we're not supposed to be making this big, we're supposed to be making this one smaller. What am I doing? Okay, um, go in here. Oops, uh, you pretty much. I guess we didn't select this part, so uh, what we're gonna do, Control Z, get this tool, unchecked, only select visible elements, hold down Shift, select that part, and go back to your normal, and go to your size tool, and boom. So I think this is the correct height. Let's uh, select this one and check it out. Okay, as you can see, the cut comes about right up to here, um, but we're a little short, aren't we? So I'm just gonna go to UL, select this thing, and just push it back. And also make it a bit smaller.
and that's okay here we come to, with the fong tag again as you can see we want these hard edges but fong tag is smoothing it out so the way to fix it is just either to get rid of the fong tag which would make every edge rough or keep the fong tag at like 80 and just add uh, more edges in here so just right click extrude inner and press K and you know unchecked only sele restricted selections click there click there and as you can see we have our hard edges we also should add a bevel to this uh, because well it deserves one see nothing is completely 90 degrees so you should add bevels to things it will repay you okay before we do the bevel I guess gotta do the function optimize again and now this time it's working Remember, always add those cuts and uh, your sharp edges will stay sharp. <clears throat> okay, it's been 26 minutes, so let's take a advertisement break. Okay, we're back after the break, I guess. By the way, uh, if you don't see the <laughs> ad, lucky you. See, the new YouTube thing allows you to put ads wherever you want, so that <clears throat> so that it's more. Actually, we don't want to bubble that. So so that you have more control. You know, if you it looks more like a TV show, but. Uh, I'm not that fancy, but I still have to that. Okay, so we are pretty good with that one. Now we're gonna add uh, one more cylinder right here, make this cylinder, and then we're gonna make this cylinder, and then we're gonna make this one. Basically, we're just gonna make this one first. Okay, so let's go. Let's, let's add a cylinder, make it. Let's make it into Z. problem I see with my um, main body it's not coming back enough see this one is I think coming all the way up to here so we're gonna have to fix that um, just get this tool again and select all the edges just pull them back and I think that will work There's something wrong, I think. No? No, oh, nothing wrong. Okay, um... Pull this one back. And, uh, where's this one? This one. Yeah, there's something wrong. This looks weird. It's not going straight.
straight. Yep, it's definitely not straight. Okay, so to fix this, whenever you have something like this, this loop, you will remember that's loop selection, not matching with this loop, you will pull on shift to select them. Get the scale tool. To measure loop, maybe. UL. Let's see, and let go of everything. See, definitely not the same. So, you want to make it the same 88861 and y is 88686. So we go. good eye to catch those things. Um, just awesome. Um, let's bring this one down and uh, check it. Okay. No, let's just make it a bit shorter, actually. Because uh, having the same length makes it look weird. In a very strange way. Funny. Okay. And now you want to make this one actually off to one side display draw shading plus lines you want this thing to be off to a little bit off to one side and that needs to be the left side which looks correct and let's come in here make it editable go polygon selection mode press K loop selection and make sure you put the cut in the right place uh, press UL select that and um, scale it down. Actually, you know, press K and make another cut right about there, and then scale it down to whatever size you want. Go to edge mode, press UL and select this and align it up with that you will align it up with that make sure to optimize and then of course we add our Going to, as you can see, I haven't opti I didn't optimize it before, so that's why that happened. So let's uh, undo that and optimize. Actually, it's annoying after a while, but you learn to not make mistakes. I wish it would optimize on its own, but it doesn't. So I'm going to select everything and then
Actually, we're gonna let this do. So we have this thing. I'm gonna select uh, these outer edges and just bevel them out. Right click bevel, let's select convex. And just That is not what I wanted. Okay, that looks about right. More segments, like maybe five. As you can see, the black spots are fun tag trying to smooth things out that we don't want smooth. So just gonna add some hard edges more. Fong tags get annoying, but they are there for a reason. We still haven't been able to figure out what that reason is exactly. Okay, um, how long has this video been? 37 minutes, good. Um, <clears throat> Now what we're going to do is uh, we'll add this detail a little bit later. I'm gonna make this thing. This is basically just extrusions. So hopefully you learn a lot through this video about Cinema 4D. This will basically get you modeling in Cinema 4D. And you extrude inner. You want to extrude inner. Then you're going to extrude. And then you're going to see that it doesn't match. That's for a reason. And this is off center, but uh, actually, no, this is the thing on the other side. This side, it's. It's done in this side, actually. Sorry. So you don't have to make that extrusion. But since I made an extrusion already, actually, I'm gonna make it extrude another extrusion there and just pull it in. And this will add a little bit something really cool. As you can see, you see, it's moving it out. We don't want that. Extrude inner again. Make give it a hard edge. Um, UL extrude inner UL. Okay. And we all can see what that is. Basically, it's just a bit of engraved inside and uh, if we turn it off and come in here we can see that there's a little bit of extrusion out going on in here and then we're gonna create this and this and then we'll later on we'll create the wire so I'm gonna go to K and we can already see it's happening right about here to here. So we're just gonna go to poly mode and loop selection, right click and maybe shoot inner. Um, and then just extrude it. Uh, actually, we're gonna extrude it on two um, axes using these bands. If I select this band, I'll just extrude it on this axis. The way to get those bands is just with Shift V, and uh, there's a 
rotation bands and shaded axis I mean somewhere around here so where is it I can never find these things okay axis bands and filter axis bands right there those are the ones okay so we're just gonna That is actually perfect, kind of. A little bit more. Boom. And just a little bit in. Okay. We want to add some hard edges. Okay. This is starting to look a little bit nicer. And then we add the square thing. It's basically a cube, actually two cubes. Forty two minutes. I'm gonna put the cube inside the cylinder. Oops, we did the opposite. Oh, we actually did the correct one. Reset PSR, that's gonna align it to the cylinder. And we'll just size it correctly. It's actually rotated this way, but... Yeah, it is rotated this way. So it will be on this side. Rotated maybe at 45 degree angle. Seems correct. Bullet caps and radius turn it down. Oops. And do whatever I do. Okay, the second cube we just duplicated. We're gonna align it with this thing. Don't worry about the height. We're not copying it exactly. Go ahead and add the fillet. Turn the fillet radius of this one to actual. This one to two.
Okay, so that's uh, pretty much uh, that gets done. And let's, oops. Oh, wrong window, man. Wrong window. And we're gonna make this thing, which is uh, starting with a cylinder. So Alt click a cube and uh, get a cylinder. Put it on Z axis. Put the cube out, cylinder, take it out. Whoa, that looks nice. <clears throat> Make it editable, go to poly, actually, yeah, poly. Unselect everything, function, optimize. Do that. Extrude inner. And, you know, we just want to build like a cool thing that the wire would come out of. Boom. That is our little socket thing. And let's see how it matches up. It matches up pretty good. Again, I would like to stress the point we're not making an exact model. <clears throat> because that would be foolish. Okay, so that is uh, it for today, guys. This is uh, an hour-long video. Almost an hour, 50 minutes. I mean, that's close to an hour. So thank you guys for watching. This has been HD Video Touch, so I will see you on the next one.